Okay, so welcome to part 7 and this will be the final part of these simple introductory tutorials into using Turtle Python. So, what we're going to do is a final thing. We're going to prove that Alex and Yertle can actually sense each other. And in order to do that, we're not really going to use anything that we've not really been using before in things like ranges and variables. To start this off, I'm just going to move this here, this if statement after the earthful. I'm going to alter that later, so don't worry about it now, I just want it out of the way. So, I'm going to get Alex and Yertle to detect each other. Now, as we know, we can use X and Y core to find out where each turtle is at that moment. Uh, the problem is, if you did that, and you use, say, compared Alex's coordinates to Yertle's, the only way they could detect each other is if they were exactly in the same place, which isn't much good. So what we're going to do is we're going to be clever and we're going to create a, an X range. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually take a range of numbers. And these are actually going to be the rounded down integers of Alex's X coordinate. And basically, we're going to round that down to zero. Now, what we're going to do, though, is in order to give him a bit of distance, I'm going to negate that by 50. And that just gives us a bit of, basically, a negative value. He can basically, he can see behind himself. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, then, for the second value in the range, again, we're going to round down Alex's x core. Except this time, we're going to add 50 to it. Now, what that's going to give us is basically a 100 um, line, effectively, a line of x, x, x values from where Alex is minus 50 to where Alex is plus 50. And we're going to do exactly the same for his y coordinate. And again, same logic, and as you can see, if you come do the basic maths here, we're basically creating a squared area. So I'd love to actually do the circular thing here, but I think I really don't want to give everyone a headache with the maths that you would have to create for that. Maybe I'll do it in another tutorial in the future. Right. So there we go, we've got these ranges now. I don't really need to do a range for Yertle because we just need to know whether Alex ha Yertle is within Alex's sensing distance. In order to do that, though, we come down to this if. Now, I'm going to actually round down Yertle's x core to zero. And then, again, I'm going to get his... I'm going to actually use this um, X range. So what it's basically saying here is round down Yertle's X coordinate so it is a single whole number and see if it was in the range of Alex's X sensing area. And we're going to do exactly the same for Yertle's Y core. Again, just need to zero that out. And then ask if it's in Y range. And this should now work, but what I'll do is I'll just say Alex has found Yertle. And then this part, you see, I don't need all of this now because actually I'm not doing any more comparisons. So I can just say else. And then Alex cannot find Yertle. Okay might take a couple of goes to get this to work so let's just run this yeah so there they go uh, see they can't find each other oh wait so every so often when they get close can you see Alex has found you when they get like the two points very close to each other but for the most part they can't find each other and that's because they're all the way over here and outside that 100 pixel square and that's what you've got to remember I've basically created a square around Alex that's 100 by 100 pixels every time they move, if Yertle is within that sensing range, he picks him up and Alex finds Yertle, otherwise he cannot find him. 
And that's it. That's how simple it is to actually get two turtles to sense each other in Python, just using some very, very, very simple code. Okay, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment about some things that you really want to see in uh, Python Turtles, I'll try and get down to doing them uh, if there's enough requests. Thanks for watching this set of tutorials. Uh, and hopefully I'll be making some more in the future on more advanced programming techniques.